This is my newly acquired Zanussi portable air conditioning unit and heat pump. I'm going to use it to see how well it heats my little workshop. And then later on in the summer, if we get hot weather, I'll see how well it can cool it. Unfortunately, I unpacked it before I decided to make this video, but it did come well packaged. It came with the usual documentation and a, a fairly reasonable product manual. There's quite a few pages in there. Drain hose for the condensate, adapter for the back of it to take the hose, and a window adapter for the other end of the hose. Pose that expands. Remote control, which unfortunately is one of these ones that takes a large button cell battery. It would have been better if it had been AA or AAA batteries, I think, anyway. And this, not totally brilliant, I don't think, window <laughs> adapter. Hmm. I think we'll come up with something better than that. A bit of an afterthought, I think. But here's the item itself, which spins quite nicely on its casters. On the hard floor, anyway. Quick view of the back of it. The side. Your usual warning lead. This is the one we're more interested in. The ratings. It claims 780 watts input for 2300 watts of heating output and 840 watts for a 2500 watt cooling. So we'll see how well it works. And of course, being a technical kind of person, the first thing you do when you get a new product is see how much of it you can take to pieces. I'll restrict it to the the standard dismantling, I'm not going to take the covers off or anything. That looks a, a reasonable quality radiator. I've got these hooks that go on it to hang the cable on. That's fairly flimsy right now. And there is a filter in the back of it, which you can remove by looking. Down here we have other filters. This one needs a screwdriver to undo it. At least it's a standard screwdriver and not one of the tamper proof types. But then I think this is supposed to be removed routinely to clean the filter. Again, that's fairly flimsy feeling. Same type of filter in there. And one you pull out from here. That really is quite flimsy feeling. And right down the bottom was the condensate drain. That's annoying that it's so low down because you're not going to get much of it. It's okay if you're going to drain it somewhere with the hose, but you won't get much of a vessel under there to catch it. If it was further up, it would have been better. So that could be an annoying. The cable goes on its hangers and it can plug in there just to support the plug. On the top we have control buttons. There's a fan speed setting, temperature decrease, temperature increase, mode setting and the on-off button. Mode is heating, cooling, dehumidifying and I believe the other one is just fan to move air. I'm going to try it out on my inverter which is a, a good quality Victron. So let's just fire it up without connecting any of the hoses in just to see what it looks like, what it sounds like, how it goes. That's on cooling. So let's use the remote control. We can change the fan speed.
Okay, good. And that one is automatically selects the fan speed itself. Right, let's change the mode. That's dehumidifier. That I think is just fan. And that's the heating one. I assume it's just changing the water. Yeah, there it goes. I'll just let it shut down and I'll set it up properly with the hose and we'll give it a proper try. Right, there we go. It's all set up. I've got the hose out of the temporary window set up. It's quite a sharp turn on it, but it's a fairly rigid hose that's holding it open. I will switch it on. I'll initially try heating because the temperature in here 15.6 degrees centigrade 12.7 outside it heats up to 27 degrees centigrade but it only cools to 18 so I think the air conditioner probably wouldn't come on at 15.6 degrees. So we'll heat first, we'll see how much heat we can get out of it. It's pulling quite a bit of air in through this vent. The air conditioning unit has been running for about a quarter of an hour now. It's the only thing my inverter is powering at the moment. And according to it, it's running about 750, 760 volt amps. And it's running on full fan speed and the compressor is running. So it is working as a heat pump. As I said before, it's drawing a lot of cold air in from outside. There's quite a draft coming in there. So I think I'm going to try and make an improvement here. It looks like this vent draws the heat or draws the air in to be either heated or cooled and then it expels it out here into the room. This down the bottom and at the side looks to be where it draws it in to extract heat or to chill and then it expels it out of the hose so if I can make a cowl to cover that and then a second hose which I can also route to the outside I hope that would make an improvement after a bit of head scratching and a little bit of foul language as well, I've managed to make from an old cardboard box this that will fit on the side and the rear, it'll fit around the corner and I'll be able to duct air in from outside. I've also got this larger piece of flexible ducting which is all I could get locally and quickly. There we go, I've now set this up with my temporary cardboard box cowling and I have air inlet from outside and air outlet going to outside so let's set it going again as a heater and I'll see how much air 
it's now drawing in the vent. Well that's it now running with my new hose setup. Unfortunately this highly flexible one has got fully expanded with the pressures on it. I don't want to shorten it as this is just a temporary test. So I could, if it was a permanent setup, I'd make a shorter hose than that so it didn't have such a, a tortuous route to go. But it's not drawing any air in there now. Outside there's plenty of air. And the inlet one. Yeah, it's drawing in quite well. I've sat it up on these pieces of wood so that I can get the condensate drained out of into that tray. It does seem to produce quite a lot of condensate. There's maybe a lot of moisture in the air. Towards the end of my video about converting this part of my garage into this workshop, I mentioned about a guy in New York State who was using a portable air conditioning unit as a heat pump to heat his house. I had another look at his video. He wasn't using it to heat the whole house, it was for ambient background heat. It had some electric radiators as well, but he was still very impressed with the amount of heat he was getting. So much so, he was in the process in the video of fitting a, a fixed air conditioning system that could be used as a heat pump as well. It was quite, he had the twin hose version from new, it was a Honeywell unit and it was twin hose from new so he didn't have to add one like I did. He was quite insistent actually that he, he had to use the, a twin hose one and he was absolutely right because the amount of air it was drawing in that vent initially was significant. But it's running away fine. If this thermometer is accurate, the outside temperature's increased a bit because we're progressing through the day, but we're almost at 27 degrees in here. And it certainly feels like it because I can hardly breathe. It's very warm. I have to say I'm quite impressed with the way this is heating for a little more than 700 watts. I'm quite sure if I'd run a 700 watt heater in here for the same length of time it would be nothing like as warm. Well by the looks of it I don't think that thermometer's too far out, it's 27 and that one's sitting 27 as well. That's pretty warm. It's probably time to switch it off. Worked well, I'm quite impressed with that. Plenty of condensate coming out. Loads of condensate. It's quite loud in here, right enough. They can maybe just put it on to warm the place up when they want to come in and work in the winter. Well, there we go. I'm quite pleased with that. I'll do another video later on in the summer when the hot weather's here where I'm using it as a, an air conditioning unit and we'll see how well it cools. This cowl that I made out of the cardboard box could probably make something much neater and more suitable, well, even original looking if you are a 3D printer. I need a fairly sizable 3D printer right now. But it certainly made a big improvement. So I hope that's a, been of use or interest to somebody. And as I say, I'll make another video in the future. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.